and welcome. I'm the Invisible Man, and today we're talking about Kimmy Schmidt Season 3, Episode 2. So, in this episode, Kimmy starts looking at prospective colleges, and then she takes a career aptitude test and discovers she's best fit to be a crossing guard. So she's like, yay, I'm going to college to be a crossing guard. Uh, you don't go to college for that, honey. That's what you do when you can't get into college. And meanwhile, while she's doing that, Titus is trying to get revenge on Mikey. How's he do it? By lemonading! That's when he dresses up as Beyonce and takes a baseball bat to everything in the street, including Mikey's truck! <laughs> and then he's like, whoa, lay off my truck! Titus, you back early? And he's like, maybe. And then a Michael Bay explosion! No one questions it. So then Kimmy goes on a tour of a prospective college, and then she meets this cute guy who talks to her about philosophy, and she realizes, huh, maybe I don't want to be a crossing guard. Maybe I'd rather be like this guy, a philosophy major. Uh, I don't know if you've heard, but that job doesn't pay well. And then Titus is making another Beyonce parody, and Mikey goes over to his house, and he's like, oh, please, Titus, you gotta believe me. Jeff is just a friend. And then he's like, you are the wind beneath my wings. He's not a good singer, but at least he admits it. And then he says, Titus, come with us to the batting cages. You'll see he's just a guy friend. So Titus is like, where'd you two meet anyway? And then he's like, the gym. That's the gayest place to meet someone. And then they go to the batting cages. And then he's like, no, no, he's just a friend. Then Titus is like, mark my words, he's gonna make his move. But Mikey's like, you're crazy, he's not gay. And then Titus leaves, and he makes his move. Oh my god, you're gay! And then the pitching robot is like, hold me closer, Tony Danza. Meanwhile, Lillian is trying to get elected for councilwoman, and then she discovers, wait a second, there's only one person in this whole neighborhood that doesn't have a criminal record. Kimmy! And so, yeah, Kimmy is the only registered voter in the entire district, which means whoever she votes for gets elected. So then she and Jacqueline are like, I gotta get that dumb ginger to vote for anyone but you! So in the end, Kimmy chooses Lillian, and then she's like, Yes! Now I can change the whole neighborhood! Goodbye, gentrification! It's gonna be that simple! Wrong! Because... Even though she votes no, everyone else on the board votes yes. So it's meaningless! Yay! This is democracy, folks. We elect people that have no actual power. So then Mikey goes back to Titus, he's like, You were right, he was gay! I guess I never thought of it! He's like a sexy Swiss army knife! I play video games with him, I can play sports with him, and I can touch butts with him! He's like, uh, too much of a good thing, you know? So then he paraphrases David Bowie, rest in peace, as he says, Please! Do whatever you want, I'll be your slave, I'll do anything you like. But then Titus remembers, hey, I used to be the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And then he remembers he said the same thing to his ex. And so he takes Mikey to the suburbs to meet Roger, his first. And then Titus explains, I nearly gave up everything I loved all for him, just because he was my first. And I don't want you to make the wrong choice for me, Mikey. I need you to be free. And so they mutually agree to break off their relationship and, you know, the whole, if we're meant to be, or we're meant to be, we'll find each other again, yada, yada, yada. And then as Mikey drives away in his Tilda Swinton truck, then Titus does another Beyonce parody. Did I mention how good he is at those? And how desperately this show needs a soundtrack? And then Titus is all alone as his little lovebird drives off into the night. And that was the end of the episode. I gotta say, uh, that was powerful, especially at the end. I really loved all the emotion that Titus puts into his last song. I mean, I loved all his Beyonce parodies. They were top notch, but that last one especially, that was good. He knows Mikey has to try some other things before he finds the perfect one for him. And so, though he is heartbroken, at the same time, Titus is kind of glad. But I'm hoping they get back together. I, I bet that'll happen in the season finale. They'll get back together in the season finale. So that's all for this episode, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!